Hey guys, it's CFG Presents The Forecast, and I'm your host, Kimberly B. Today, my guest is Lawrence Spivey. Hey, Lawrence, what's going on? How's it going with you? Oh, you know, same old, same. I hear you. So let everyone know what it is that you do and, you know, why fashion is such a big deal for you. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, once again, my name is Lawrence Spivey. Um, I'm the owner um, of Sir Byron Laurent's Style and Fashion Consulting. Um, I run a men's fashion blog um, and lifestyle blog where I just talk about, for me, um, fashion from, from my perspective um, as a Southern gentleman, as a husband um, and a father on the lifestyle side. But um, um, yeah, really just share my experiences with fashion um, from thrift shopping to just putting together great outfits um, to project for me what is a gentleman's look. Mm -hmm. um, and just really just sharing that with other men um, and actually helping men kind of transform their look um, into the image that they see themselves. But maybe need a little bit of help of trying to bring it out. Right. Now, where did you get the name from? Um, great question. Um, people always ask me that. <laughs> I actually <laughs> prayed about it. Really? And, right, I prayed about it, and I wanted a name um, for a long time. I never put my picture on, on anything. Um, and that's because I wanted for people to read my content mm -hmm. um, instead of uh, make uh, preconceived judgments about what I'm going to write about or the type of style I'm talking about. Um, from seeing me. Mm -hmm. So I wanted a name that um, you couldn't tell if it was American or if it was from overseas, mm -hmm. whether it was black or white. I just wanted something that um, kind of had a hint of, uh, you know, mystery behind it. Right. Um, but people kind of focus on the content. And um, literally, um, I was like, that's what I'm looking for, God. Prayed about it, went to sleep, woke up in the middle of the night. That was the name. And it I just <laughs> wrote it down. And, and that was it. That's how it happened at North Carolina a and State University, mm -hmm. um, Durham Tech University. I did a conference with him last year. Um, and so those are really fun. Um, I've um, done some things with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that was really fun just talking about fashion, just having fun with it. Um, but other projects I worked on is um, I had work featured in um, Ebony, um, Wait, and don't don't go past that like it's not a big deal. Like, oh, Ebony. So what did you do for Ebony? So um, I actually have a division of my business where I actually uh, style men for their wedding. And so I've had um, one of my clients right. featured in Ebony um, and other publications, Mona Lisa Bride, uh, Two Bright Lights, um, things like that. And that's really fun, um, you know, kind of um, creating that unique look for that special day mm -hmm. because all eyes are on you, and, and everybody's going to have pictures. And don't factor in the males when it comes to they, the wedding. They it's always, always think about them. Yeah, it's always They always around. put them in a, a black tux <laughs> or a white suit and a, a future vest. And it's yeah, like, fuchsia. yeah, yeah, it's always fuchsia. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, it's just my way to kind of contribute to that market, and it's really fun doing that. Um, but outside of that, you know, I'm just looking to do more things with our youth. Mm -hmm. um, I have in March, I'll be speaking at... Um, uh, Mount Destiny, uh, shout out to Pastor Cooper okay. um, at Millennium Revival Center. Um, I'm linking up with him uh, where I'll be uh, speaking to their youth there um, in the mountains. Um, they get a lot of inner city kids and they just minister and, and um, kind of help just try to change their lives. Mm -hmm. And I'll be uh, speaking to their, their youth there or their young men, um, kind of helping them learn um, the importance of style and when you take that style on yourself and go into the community and how people are going to react to you. So Absolutely. that's going to be really be fun. Um, and to kind of just talk through that because, you know, of course, this day and age we're still talking about, you know, should Trayvon Martin wear the hoodie or not? Mm -hmm. And the fact that he had on is irrelevant. But, you know, kind of talking to those, you know, through those type of topics. Right, right. Now I'm going to ask you two things. Number sure. one, I want you to leave every guy – an important piece of information, and then two, I want you to let everyone know where they can follow you. Okay. Um, I would definitely say one of the most important things that I want men to remember is um, your style is important. Mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of like we were talking about, people are judging you, um, and, you know, unfortunately, people should should look at the context of who you are. And, in but, a perfect world. In a perfect world, yeah. but people don't see that. When, when you walk through a store, when you walk into that workplace, they're not looking at you saying, Hmm, he has a really good personality. He seems right. like a hard worker. No, they, they're they making judgments based off of what you're wearing. And so really taking that in consideration, because it is important, um, no matter how we try to downplay and mm -hmm. say, well, no, you should just, you know, you should you should like me for me and just give me a chance. That's just not how the world works. No, and, and so just working through that. And um, so I would definitely say that's probably really, really important to keep in mind. 
Uh, but um, I can be followed on almost every social media platform. <laughs> and it's the same thing, Sir Byron Laurent. Um, so Sir Byron Laurent on Facebook, um, at Sir Byron Laurent on uh, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Periscope. We gonna work on Periscope. We gonna work on Periscope. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I keep it the same across the board. And so that's um, um, Laurent, L-A-U-R-E-N, 